Hello everyone. In our today's lecture, we are starting the our statistics, in which we are studying a chapter number two in a unit one. The chapter name is limit. Before we start the limit, first we have to learn a basic definitions, right? So as you earlier chapter of the statistic we discussed the what is a function, right? After that, we are putting a value of the x in that function and finding some answer of that function, right? But when we are putting a x in a function, but x at x is equals to suppose two, so we are putting as it is x is equals to two. But what is here? It's a limit. It's it's create a boundaries or the limit for that value of the x near to the a. First definition is meaning of x belongs to a. Here it's a, in the function we are putting the value of x nearest to a. What do you mean by the a? A is a, any constant one, two, three, four. So x does not or equals to two always, right? Suppose the value of x is two, but it not supposed to do that. Uh, x is equals to two. It's x not is equals to two. What do you mean by x belongs to a? X be sorry tends to a is equals. That means the value of a is nearest to a. Just like a x is equals to so two. So the nearest value would be two point one, two point two, two point three extra. Right. So in limit, there is a boundary created by the function, and we get the definite answer of that limit. Right. The next is meaning of x belongs to zero. X belongs to zero does not mean x is equals to zero. Right. It's the nearest zero. That means zero point nine, zero point nine nine, zero point nine nine nine. Right. Next is meaning of x belongs to unlimited. What do you mean by the unlimited? It x can be any number and any nearest number, right? It's a predictable, very really large number, and n belongs. X belongs to n also, right? So it does not mean x belongs to n, but it's the nearest to any number, right? So now, what is the limit function? Limit function is limit of x belong tends to a if x is equals to l. When we are solving the function and we put the value of x as a nearest to the any digit or any one two three four any digit, we get the answer. L. Got it? What is the limit function? When we are putting the value of x in a function or a nearest to the a, right? And we, what we are getting in the answer, it's the answer of the limit function, right? Let's solve the example. Illustration number one. What is the illustration number one? Find limit x tends to zero, three x plus four by preparing a table. There is a def definitely said that by preparing a table. So limit function is given. Limit x tends to zero, three x plus four. Right. So here we have to. Prepare a table. Table of x value, right? So x is equals to tends to zero. That means nearest to zero. So nearest to zero would be zero point one, zero point zero one, zero point zero zero one, zero point zero 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 one, and endless, right? Then we have to find out. Fx, Fx. What do you mean by the Fx? Fx is equals to three x plus four. Fx is equals to three x plus 
4. Here we have to put a x is equals to 0 0.1, 0 0.01, 0 0.001, right? So we are putting the values 3 into 0 0.1, we got 3 into 0 0.1 plus 4, it's a 4.3, then 3 into 0 0.01 plus 4, we got 0 4.03. And 4.003 and 4.003 and endless. Right? Here we take a positive value of the x nearest to 0. But it can be a negative also. So again in the next column we are taking the negative values. So minus 0 0.1, minus 0 0.01, minus 0 0.001 and minus 0 0.0001 again putting this value in the x we are finding f x so 3 into 0 0.1 minus plus 4 we are getting 3.7 3 into 0 0.01 minus into 4 we are getting Sorry. Three point ninety seven. Three point nine nine seven. Then zero point zero one minus into three plus four. We are getting 3.9997 and less. So here in the limit we are getting the value of the function as the x belongs to 0. So we are finding the values nearest to 0. So we are taking a positive number as well as negative numbers. Right. So 0.0. .0 0 0.1, 0 0.01, 0 0.001, 0 0.001, right? If in the sum you have to clearly say that by preparing table, then and only then you have to make a table like this, right? Now we are solving the illustration number 2. What is the illustration number 2? Limit x tends to 3 x square minus 9 upon x minus 3 x belongs to minus 3 uh, x belongs to r minus 3 by preparing a table so here we have to put a x nearest value of the 3 in the function and we have to find out the value by preparing the tables so again in the as earlier illustration we find it out let's find it out x function x function here x tends to 3 right in the number line there is a 3 so when we go this side it will come 3.1, 3.01, right? And when we come from this side, it will come 2.9, 2.99, and 2.999, right? The same way we have to put the value of the table in the table. So, first we are going left side. So, value would be 3 3.1, 3.01, 3.001, 3.0001, 3 .0001, right? Let's put the value of the 3.1 in the which function? Function is x square minus 9 upon x minus 3. First, we are putting 3.1 as x. So, 3.1 square 
minus nine upon three point one minus three. Right? After solving this equation, we get six point one. Right? So we here we write down six point one. Again, now we are taking three point zero one. So here we are taking three point zero one. So three point zero. Three point zero one square minus nine. We get zero point zero six zero one upon three point zero one minus three. It's again zero point zero one. So zero point zero six zero one upon zero point zero one. It will come zero point zero one. Then automatically you can identify that the value of the fx like. Zero point zero zero one, then zero six point zero 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 one, right? And endless. Now we are taking the value of x from the right side. Two point nine. So two point nine, two point nine nine, two point nine nine nine, two point nine nine nine, right? So let's put two point nine in a x square. So two point nine raised to square minus three upon. It will become five point forty one upon two point nine minus three. It will become minus zero point one. Sorry, it will come zero five nine minus, and here it will come minus zero point one. So it will come minus plus. Both the side up and uh, sorry, denominator and denominator as a minus, so it will be cut, and we get five point nine. We get five point nine, then we get five point nine nine, then we get five point nine nine nine. And five point nine 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 nine. Here we can easily say that the when we are putting x tends to three, and the nearest uh, value of the three we are getting the same answer is the nearest to six. Five point nine is the nearest to six, and six point one is the nearest to six. Right? There is a limit function. Right, so whenever we are putting the x belong tends to three or nearest value of the three, we are getting the answer. The nearest value is six. Understood?